it, it is uh, one of my problems that when a client uh, contacts me and I suggest a few medicines, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time because typing in email and all, I make a combination and I will also put the links to buy and all. So it will take like 10 to 15 minutes and I send. And then the client comes comes back to me and says that, oh, I do not want these uh, modern uh, proprietary medicines, uh, patent medicines. I want only classical medicines. Uh, <laughs> so then again, I had to search for classical uh, alternatives and uh, and I have seen Dr. Gurada sir, uh, you know, from my days of, uh, as a student, uh, his guidance also. So he is, uh, he's a, you know, I, I can say proponent of, uh, proprietary medicines. Can you please explain the logic and what would be your reaction if some, some of your patients says that he doesn't want your proprietary medicine? See, first of all, we need to understand that prescribing a drug, selecting a drug for a condition is totally under the domain of a doctor. It should not be stress passed. So if a doctor prescribes or selects a drug for a condition, he might have has his own ideologies and he don't he might have understand your body or not the need of the condition in a very clear cut manner so we, he need not to be forced to write down what is this requirement it is not just like you are going and checking in a menu in a hotel and prescribing what you want or ordering what you want it so that is not a case and here when a, my patient if he insist on that then i straight away reject it it is not the domain of the patient to say that what should be given to him or her. It is the domain of a doctor that what should be the best for my patient that will be taken care of. So that is one point number one. Second thing, however, the proprietary medication and classical medicine. Once again, the same thing. It is the domain of the doctor that he will decide which should be given to whom. 